Okay, so first of all, I have here some data and I want to average this. However, if I just type in equals average normally and then select these values and then press enter and then double click to fill in the rest of the table, I get lots of error values because I have lots of error values in my data. Any row with an error in it will have an error in the average formula as well. But I don't want this. If there's an error, I want it to ignore it and then just average the remaining values. And I don't want to have to go in here and then delete this and then just say average this and this and this. I want a formula that will do this automatically. So there's a couple of different ways that I can do this. I can type in equals average tab if tab is number tab and then select these values and then close brackets and comma and then select these values again and then comma and then when quotation marks space quotation marks close brackets close brackets again and then because this is an array formula I need to press Control Shift Enter in order to get it to work. Then I can just double click on here to fill in the rest of the table. And now it has averaged even the rows that had error values in them. And this formula is basically saying if it is a number, average it. And if it's not a number, then just ignore it. Pretend that there's nothing there. Now, there's another way of doing this, which is equals average tab is tab is error tab and then select these values and then close brackets and then comma and then quotation marks space quotation marks comma and then select these values and then close brackets and then close brackets again and then because this is also an array formula I need to press Control shift and enter in order to get it to work and then double click to fill in the rest of the table and now I have two columns with the same values in them and this formula is basically saying if it is an error then ignore it pretend there's nothing there and if it is not an error, i.e. it is a number, then average it. And these formulas are basically two opposite way round to each other. Then there is another way of doing this, which is probably the most simple way, which is to do equals aggregate. And then one for average and then comma and then six for ignore error values and then comma and then select these values and then enter and because this is not an array formula I can just press enter normally and then I can double click to fill in the rest of the table and now I have three columns all with the same values in them and they find the average even when the normal average formula doesn't work. Okay, and that is it.